Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Megan Dang and I'm a type 1 diabetic and today I'm going to be talking about establishing a support system as a diabetic. Even though diabetes is a pretty well-known condition, not that many people seem to have type 1 diabetes. What I mean by that is, as a type 1 diabetic, I look around and most of my friends don't have diabetes, which means most of them can't really relate or connect to me about what it takes to go through living with this um, chronic illness. Living with diabetes can be tough and doing it alone makes it even harder. Establishing a support system can make going through this condition so much easier and make your life a lot better. So today I'm going to be kind of sharing some resources and ways to connect with other diabetics to make you not feel so alone in this disease. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll be sure to respond. So thanks for watching. first resource that I have to share is Facebook. So the Facebook that I personally use is called SAC Kids Diabetes or SAC Teen Diabetes. This is basically a Facebook support system for diabetics in the Sacramento area, which is where I'm from, to connect with one, of, one another. So a lot of the people on this site ask for advice from others, ask to set up playdates for their young diabetics. If they run out of supplies, they're able to post on the page and people usually respond. And just literally anything concerning diabetes, they can post on here. Just thoughts, feelings, and other people in the area are able to help connect with them. If you don't live in Sacramento, which I'm guess guessing most of you probably don't, then I'm sure that your area probably has something similar to this. So I would suggest asking your endocrinologist, um, which are the people who showed me this website. It was really helpful when I was younger to refer to this Facebook page because I felt really, really alone. And I guess now that I'm older, it's not as big of a deal, but especially growing up, this was really helpful to know that other people in the area who are close to me were also going through the same thing. So the second resource that I have for you guys is Reddit. So if anybody knows me, they know that I am a huge Reddit user. The first subreddit that I joined was actually type 1 diabetes. It was just so crazy to me that you can say something and somebody will for sure respond that knows what you're going through because it's hard sometimes to connect with friends or meet up, um, especially if they're far away because I don't really have any diabetic friends who live next to me. So it's really easy to feel extra alone if you weren't able to actually meet up with them. So going onto Reddit and just posting something and having somebody else, another diabetic out there, respond understanding what you're going through just is an amazing feeling so i would suggest joining type 1 diabetes subreddit or the diabetes subreddit because literally anything you have to say concerning diabetes somebody will answer the next resource that i have is actually youtubes and blogs the reason why i created this youtube channel was to put out information for other diabetics and help share my knowledge but another reason why is so that people can have discussions down below so I see that a lot of people sometimes comment back and forth to each other if they know the answers so I would highly suggest commenting on YouTube channels of diabetics just so that you can start you know helping each other out it doesn't necessarily have to be directed at the person making the videos like me but to each other because sometimes people ask questions on diabetic videos of mine and I don't know the answers and I see that other people respond which is really kind and helpful and it's just a great place to help connect with other diabetics since everybody here is a diabetic another resource is going to diabetic blogs which is something I also have but I'm not as active on it but blogs and YouTube channels are a great place to jump into the comments and help each other out and ask questions and see what other people are asking so that you can improve your diabetes too and the last resource I have is to contact me if you really feel alone in this diabetic world because I am so happy to make new diabetic friends and help one another out. So if you ever want to talk to me about diabetes or just have a friend who's diabetic, um, make sure to leave a comment and I'll contact you if that's not too weird because I think it's really important that we help each other out to make this disease easier for all of us because it's something we're going to have to live with forever so might as well enjoy it with each other. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments again please just leave it down below. Um, not just for me but for each other so that we can 
create a system of support and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.